Don't be envious, but be grateful. And now, my children, hearken unto me, and beware of the spirit of deceit and envy. For envy ruleth over the whole might of a man, and suffereth him neither to eat nor to drink, nor to do any good thing. But it ever suggesteth to him to destroy him that he envieth. And so long as he that is envied flourisheth, he that envieth fadeth away. I learned that deliverance from envy cometh by the fear of God. For if a man flee to the Lord, the evil spirit runneth away from him, and his mind is lightened. And henceforward he sympathizes with him whom he envied, and forgiveth those who are hostile to him, and so ceaseth from his envy. Testament of Simeon chapter 1 verses 16 to 20. Beware, therefore, my children, of all jealousy and envy, and walk in singleness of heart, that God may give you also grace and glory, and blessing upon your heads, even as he saw in Joseph's case. Testament of Simeon chapter 2 verse 5. Do ye also, my children, love each one his brother with a good heart, and the spirit of envy will withdraw from you. For this maketh savage soul, and destroyeth the body. It causeth anger and war in the mind, and stirreth up unto deeds of blood, and leadeth the mind into frenzy, and causeth tumult to the soul, and trembling to the body. For even in sleep malicious jealousy knoweth, and we, wicked spirits disturbeth the soul, and causeth the body to be troubled, and waketh the mind from sleep in confusion, and as a wicked and poisonous spirit, so appeareth it to men. Testament of Simeon chapter 2 verses 7 to 9. For hatred worketh with envy also against them that prosper. So long as it heareth of or seeth their success, it always languisheth. Righteousness casteth out hatred, humility destroyeth envy. For he that is just and humble is ashamed to do what is unjust, being reproved not of another but of his own heart, because the Lord looketh on his inclination. Testament of God, chapter 1, verses 22, 27 to 28. For the poor man, if free from envy, he pleaseth the Lord in all things, is blessed beyond all men, because he hath not the travail of being men. Put away, therefore, jealousy from your souls, and love one another with uprightness of heart. Testament of God, chapter 2, verses 15 to 16. Neither will I go with consuming envy, for such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 verse 23. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. Ecclesiasticus chapter 9 verse 11. Riches are not comely for a nigger, and what should an envious man do with money? Ecclesiasticus chapter 14 verse 3. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last he will declare his wickedness. The envious man hath a wicked eye. He turneth away his face and despiseth men. A covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion. And the iniquity of the wicked drieth up his soul. A wicked eye envieth his bread, and he is a niggard at his table. Ecclesiasticus chapter 14 verses 6 to 10. Envy and wrath shorten the life, and carefulness bringeth age before the time. Ecclesiasticus chapter 30 verse 24. Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Psalm chapter 37 verses 1 to 2. For I was envious of the foolish, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Their eyes stand out with fatness, they have more than heart could wish. Behold, these are the ungodly, who prosper in the world, they increase in riches. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me, until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood either end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places, thou castest them down into destruction. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a-whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. 
I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. Psalm chapter 73, Asa. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways, for the forward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 31 to 32. A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 13. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Proverbs chapter 23, verses 17 to 18. Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. For their heart studieth destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Proverbs chapter 24, verses 1 to 2. Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious of the wicked, for there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. Proverbs chapter 24, verses 19 to 20. Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? Proverbs chapter 27, verse 4. 